60 years to life in prison. This coming here on this Wednesday out of Los Angeles. Of course, this is a live look in the courtroom right now. The Superior Court judge handed out the sentence to Eric R. Holder, who was found guilty of the 2019 first-degree murder of the 33-year-old Grammy-nominated hip-hop artist outside the clothing store Hustle, founded in South, South Los Angeles, the neighborhood where both men grew up under very similar circumstances. It was a month-long trial. The jurors in July also convicted Holder of two counts of attempted voluntary manslaughter, two counts of assault with a firearm for gunfire that hit two other men at the scene who survived. They sentenced Holder to 25 years to life for the murder, 25 more for the firearm sentencing enhancement, and 10 for assault with a firearm. Of course, uh, the loss of Nipsey Hussle hit the uh, hip-hop community very, very hard. A lot of uh, great renditions from him as an artist there. This is a live look in there as we continue on here on Live Now from Fox, obviously. He's sentenced to 60 years to life in prison. We want to get you out to some remarks from that courtroom, from people within the community upset about how the aftermath continues to unfold there in South Los Angeles. Najee Ali, uh, for the record, N-A-J-E-E, -E, last name is A-L-I. As a member of the Crenshaw community for over 30 years and a stakeholder, uh, someone who knew Nipsey Hussle, I'm here to say that his murder has had a devastating and tremendous impact still to this day on our community. Not only was Nipsey a Grammy Award winning hip hop artist, he was much more than that. He was a philanthropist, an entrepreneur, business person, mentor, role model. He was a hero to many young people in the Crenshaw area, but also throughout the nation. When he was murdered, his death struck a chord with many. Uh, so with that, Your Honor, uh, I would respectfully ask that Eric Holder be sentenced to the maximum sentence possible, especially due to the fact that he has never apologized, never shown any remorse for what he did. So I believe that he deserved the maximum sentence possible. And in my closing, you know, many young people are monitoring and watching this, and they're depending on you to be their voice uh, for justice. And I want to thank uh, DA McKinney for bringing Mr. Holder to justice and serving the people of California uh, and our community uh, with pride and dignity in doing your job. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Next, Your Honor, uh, is Mr. Herman Douglas. Mr. Douglas? Uh, Herman Douglas, H-E-R-M-A-N-Douglas, uh, I worked for Nipsey, Nipsey, my friend. He was like a son. He was like a dad. Our community right now, we lost everything. Everything we worked for, one person took that person out of our community. Thousands of jobs we don't have no more. Homies don't have nothing to do. They backslide. They robbing people now. We had stuff to do. Now they don't have nothing to do. All our stores are closed down. All the, we were relying on jobs. The whole community relied on them and the team that we had down there. Now the team is not down there. The Nymp is not down there. The whole community is affected. All of our stores are closed. We have nowhere to go. We can't go to Ross to get no food. The only thing that we have is that shopping center. That shopping center is closed down now. Tourists are coming by there, can't even take pictures no more. Everything we built got tore down. One man's mistake, one man's action messed up a whole community. Our whole community is suffering to this day. These kids don't have nowhere to go. They have nothing to do, they have nothing to look up to no more. And, and the world still wants to know why. That we want to know why would somebody do that to a person that was leading the whole community? Why? We want to know why. That's all we want to know is why. We will possess a person to take a person out of our community that was so powerful. So many people depended on that person. Nobody depended on this other person. Everybody depended on this one person in our communities. 
and they want mercy from this guy. Where was the mercy when he was kicking Nipsey on the ground? Where was that mercy at? Where was that mercy at? You want some mercy? You want somebody to show you some love? You ain't even looked at nobody, you ain't even look at the jury and show no respect, no no remorse. Sir. To say, sir. my bad, I messed up. You know, sir. I got you. I'm trying to do it the right way. Thank you, sir. All right. But there's been no remorse from the individual that's on trial. So I'm asking you, Judge, it really, you know, the time, I don't care what you get this guy. It, it ain't about the time. I need to know why. I wish I could get that. You know, his fate is sealed. He took a man's life, his life is getting taken. Simple as that. You know, he goes against the body. So his life has been forfeited. So he has to get the guy. You know, uh, like I said, I just would, would like to know why. Why would you take such a person out of our community like that? So, Judge, I know you're going to do the right thing. Thank you. All right, let's proceed with sentencing.